we will now discuss langer and cells disorder langer and cells disorders are termed as histiocytosis langer and cell disorders we call them histiocytosis x so remember all langer and cell disorders they are characterized by presence of tennis racket appearance this tennis racket appearance you will see inside this tennis racket you will find certain granules these granules are called birbeck granules these granules are termed as birbeck granules so this is electron microscopic finding in langer and cells disorders or histiocytosis x so there are three common type of langer and cell disorders first is called eosinophilic granuloma eosinophilic granuloma second type is second type is called lateral sever disease lateral sever disease and the third type is called hand shoulder Christian disease hand shoulder christian disease a recently evolved type is known as pulmonary langer and cell histiocytosis pulmonary langer and cell histiocytosis in short i am writing lch langer and cell histiocytosis this is associated with smoking the exact cause of this disease is not known but it is more common in smoker three classical type are eosinophilic granuloma lateral sever disease and hand shoulder christian disease first point of differentiating in all these diseases which is benign and which is malignant so remember eosinophilic granuloma is a benign condition it is benign condition lateral sever disease it is a pre malignant condition hand shoulder disease hand shoulder christian disease is also a pre malignant condition it may transform into malignancy the simple way to remember this is if a disease is having a scientist name it is malignant later save scientist name so it is malignant hand shoulder christian scientist name it is malignant if there are no scientist name yes and of granuloma no scientist name so it will be benign it will be benign this eosinophilic granuloma the disease you can see this disease in any age group eosinophilic granuloma you may see this disease in any age group it may be seen in children it may be seen in adult so the disease may occur in any age group here classically you will see a lytic bone lesion lytic bone lesion are seen in all these three diseases 
inside this lytic bone lesion what we will find we will find langerhans cells we will find langerhans cells so this lytic bone lesion clinically it may present with pathological fractures it may present with pathological fractures so this lytic bone lesion in microscopy in the biopsy of this lesion you will find langerhans cells this langerhans cells sometime they will be mixed with some other cells which may be eosinophils eosinophils so you will see both langerhans cells as well as eosinophilic infiltration and this disease is having presence of granuloma so it is a type of granulomatous disease so first disease eosinophilic granuloma can occur in any age group more common in children or young age or in adolescent age group next disease is later severe disease later severe disease it is seen in children less than 2 years of age so basically it's a disease of infant it is also called as infantile type of langerhans cell disorders this disease is aggressive it involve many different organs it may involve bones in the bones you will see similar lytic lesion it may involve skin it may involve skin so there will be dermatitis dermatitis it may involve lymph nodes so you will see lymphadenopathy and there will be hepatosplenomegaly 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 because of this multi systemic involvement or involvement of many organ system it is extremely fatal condition it is a very fatal disease it's a very fatal disease third type of disease that we are going to discuss is hand shoulder christian disease hand shoulder christian disease this disease is also pre malignant condition it clinically present with a scalp rash means you will see a rash in the skull so it will have a skin involvement it will have skin involvement you will see lytic bone lesions this lytic bone lesion are basically seen in skull lytic lesion in skin this disease is associated with diabetes insipidus diabetes insipidus and this disease you will be seeing one important feature of this disease that is you will see here exophthalmos so hand shoulder christian disease is basically having involvement of skin lytic lesion in the skin bone involvement diabetes insipidus and exophthalmos are two differentiating features this is very simple to remember and this disease is seen in children who are above 3 years it is seen in children who are above 3 years so it is seen in children who are above 3 years means little elder children so for the very simple thing you should be knowing is since there is no scientist name in eosinophilic granuloma it is an absolute benign condition later and see two scientists name disease will be seen in children less than 2 year hand shoulder christian disease hand 1 shoulder 2 christian 3 it is see it is having three scientists name it is seen in children above 3 years 
this is about langerhans cell disorder and all these diseases are characterized by presence of birbeck granules and tennis racket appearance birbeck granules and tennis racket appearance.